So along with the stats model OLS summary, we are also taking out the various uh, variance inflation factor which will tell us about the collinearity between any feature with rest of the features in the model. So a high value will mean that this variable, this feature is being represented by all the rest of the features. So we can just get rid of this and we can keep values in within the range of 5 which is completely fine but anything up above 5 is not okay. So another thing which is very important about while working with variance inflation factor is that uh, we have to remove the features one by one because once we remove this one you will see that definitely for this one the variance inflation factor will be less because these two features temp and atemp were explaining each other and they were collinear but once you remove one of them the rest of the features are not really very collinear with uh, the remaining one so you will see that VIF has dropped a little bit. So first we are going to see, first we saw that what is the uh, adjusted R square we are getting with all the features. Next what we are going to do is, we are using RFE to get top 12, top 10 and top 15 features. Now why really we did this thing because till now we are not sure how many features we should take. We have so many features but what are the most important features we don't know. So this was a quick tool to use here to know about the top n features. We used RFE to get that. Now once we got the idea like what are the top 12 features and top 15 features probably we can start with top 15 features and then manually tweak the model here and there to under, to improvise on top of it so we got the 10 12 and 15 features then for 10 12 and 15 features we are taking the adjusted r square now since adjusted r square has a penalty term for uh, the number of features you will see that when we are uh, ch changing the number of features it's going to change so for top 10 features we can see 80 percent and for top 12 we can see 81 percent and for 15 we can see 81.9 percent so what am I going to do now? With top 10 features given RFE, the model resulted at adjusted R square of 0.819. Both top 10 and 12 features on the other hand produced adjusted R square lower than that. So we want as much R adjusted R square as possible. We will now manually inspect the P values and VIF of the model of top 15 features. So we already got a decent uh, adjusted R square value with this top 15 features but in contrast to that with top 10 and top 12 we didn't get really good values like it's a little bit less so we will start with a nice value which is top 15 and after that we will look at the individual VIF and P values of the features and we will uh, try to optimize the model even further. So what I have done here, this is the interesting work. Like now I am going to work with top 14 features and what have I removed here? We can remove the one having the highest VIF factor or 
the p value where the p value is highest any of it is fine so i think that's what i did here and we have removed sunday because it didn't impact the adjusted asker so in the top 14 features what is the difference with top 15 we remove the sunday feature from there and we just calculated the vis again and we can see that our adjusted r square is not affected at all next thing we are going to work with the saturday because it had the highest p value in the latest model and we are going to check the statistical summary again so we can see that 81.9 i think it's the same so since the adjusted r square is not changing after removing saturday that means that it's not adding any extra information in the model so we can safely just remove that feature next we are going to test with working day because it has the highest p value again in the latest model and now we have come to top 12 again so we can see that removing sunday saturday and working day from top 15 features selected by rfe did not impact the adjusted r square which is what we really want here we don't want to reduce the adjusted r square we have to have a decent adjusted r square and while keeping that constant we want to see what features we can remove from the model all the features are having uh, variance inflation factor less than 7 even though you can see that this constant is having a high value but that's fine that's fine because uh, in the OLS when we are when we build this ordinary least square model by default it doesn't have any um, constant value like y equal to mx plus c this if this is the linear regression model then it by default it doesn't consider the c value that's why we have to add a constant and that's the constant that's the vif of the constant so we will keep that constant no matter what right so finally we have ended up with top 12 features which are year holiday temp humidity wind speed spring summer winter monday light snow rain tuesday mist and cloudy so this is our final model since we already got the features next thing is residual analysis of the training data because we already have the test and training set splitted so next thing we did is the residual analysis residual analysis means we are basically uh, checking the residual which is the difference between the predicted value and the true value of y or here in this case the demand of shared by and that difference that difference between the predicted and true value of the bike demand should have a normal distribution more or less so if it if it has a normal distribution means it is holding one of the most important assumptions of linear regression true so that's what we did here we just validated one of the linear regression assumptions next thing that i did here is um let me just go a little bit down making predictions of course once we are done with the training data set now we can go ahead testing the day, testing the model with test data now we also made the prediction and this is the y test versus residual now this is also one of the assumptions of linear regression that there should not be any pattern between y test or the true value of this one the true value of the target variable and the residual so since there is no pattern seen we can see, uh, tell that the residual having constant variance or it's homoscedastic next we did model evaluation with the help of 
the scatter plot a sim simple scatter plot between whitest and white predicted this is showing sort of a linear relationship which means that it has sort of predicted it in the similar way it has a linear relationship which is a good thing next thing we did is just calculating mean absolute error mean squared error and root mean squared error now mean absolute and root mean squared error are preferred by me because they are in the same units as the target variable in contrary to them the mean squared is already squared and the values do not really match up so it's hard to compare from that Next thing we have the R2 score, which is nothing but the R square value. So 83, the R2 score has been 0.837, means 83.7% of the variance of the target variable, that is the shared by uh, demand, has been explained by our linear regression model. Next, we have some subjective questions that I just explained a little bit so what is the conclusion of this case study as you all know that for multi multiple linear regression the expression will be y equal to a plus b1 x1 plus b2 x2 up to b and xn when n is the number of features and x is the independent variable or predictor we can say and y is the target variable or dependent variable we can say and a is the constant now what are this a b1 b2 bn a is the value of the target variable when all the predictors are zero means in this case if we are talking about this expression then a is the a is the byte demand when all the features are zero next thing is b1 or what is the b2 or bn for example so b1 is the value of a uh, sorry b1 is the value of y per unit change of x1 when all the other predictors are kept constant so suppose um, x1 is actually a temp the temperature of outside and y is here the shared by count uh, like the shared by demand right so for unit change in temperature how much demand is changing is b1 so here if we just compare our uh, case study with this multiple linear regression expression then we can see that number of predictors are n equal to 12 then i just explained what are the top 12 features are then among them again top three important features would be temp light snow or rain and year this i have found from the value of the coefficients because when i am building a linear regression model and when we are checking the ols summary it will also give me the value of the coefficients right i can just quickly go back to any of the models and show from there that these are the features and these are the coefficients so whichever is having the uh, highest absolute value is the most significant one like that we can infer so the top three important features are temperature light snow or rain and here this was decided inspecting absolute value of the coefficients negative sign is coefficient means they are negatively related but they are still related means one if one is increasing the other one will decrease the model is also validated against several assumptions of linear regression like linearity of course we saw that there is strong rela linear relationship in some of the features with count and normally distributed error that also we saw from the residual uh, distribution we also saw that 
constant variance of error or homoscedasticity like when we uh, have we made a scatter plot between the y2 value and the residual we saw that there is no such uh, trend going on in that plot from that we uh, we concluded that the variance is sort of constant here and next we evaluated the model with r2 score and rmac which is root mean square error and r2 score was found to be 0.8372 which is 83.72 percent variance of the data has been explained by the model that's what i was talking about and rmac is a root mean square is the same unit of the target variable and it's eight uh, sorry 780 means the prediction uh, can be off by 780 units maximum so that was our shared bike uh, demand analysis with uh, the help of linear regression i hope you found it helpful in any way so if you did please give it a like subscribe share with your friends and whatnot so bye guys for now we'll meet again very very soon